You know, I have two answers to that question. Uh, I think for a long time, particularly in the early years at Baltimore Core, I would just crash. I would take a sick day. More times than not, I would actually be sick. I would stay home in the bed. Maybe I would watch TV or kind of go out for food and drink. I would do something to take my mind off of whatever's going on at work. And, you know, you kind of indulge in escapism. I do a lot less of that now because it's not a sustainable way to deal with uh, burnout and it's not necessarily in line with, with, with what true self-care looks like. I'm a lot more attentive now to the everyday signals that things may or may not be moving in the right direction and I try to course correct as I go. For example, if, if I didn't get a good night's sleep last night, instead of just chalking that up and powering through, I'll adjust my schedule in subsequent days to maybe dial it back on evening events or engagements to make sure that I get an early bedtime immediately following that night to get caught back up. You know, if you think about the things in our lives that we really need to maintain and pay attention to, it could be as simple as a car. It could also be our children, it could be our family. Uh, it could be community institutions that we care about, like our church. We're really attentive to all the signals. We pay really close attention to the check engine light or the change the oil, or when the pastor says, like, we gotta raise more money this month to do this very worthy thing that we need to do or when a child needs new clothes or a new backpack or new school supplies or has an issue at school and you need to go to a PTA conference, we're really attentive to those signals. But we're actually not super wired to be attentive to the signals that our body sends us every day. Your heart rate, how you're experiencing kind of your lived uh, reality and the rush of chemicals that are flowing all and out of your body to regulate how your body operates. Things like cortisol, things like adrenaline, they are pumping on and off all day. And sometimes that's good, a lot of times it's not. And what it is, is it's a signal. And it's telling you that, hey, this might be a very stressful situation, set some boundaries. Or hey, this conflict may not be healthy, let's get some perspective. Um, and so, you know, the longer I do this work, the longer I'm in this job, the, the more aware I am of those things. Um, and if you really want to serve the movement well, uh, it's about recognizing the marathon and being equipped and tools to go the distance and to do the work over decades, not just over a span of a few months or a few years, because the work is so important and the challenges are so severe. Uh, you can't just sprint to the finish line and ignore those things and expect it's all gonna work out for society and for you. It's a long-term struggle, it's a long-term effort, and therefore you have to take the time to take care of yourself.